Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The verdict is out. Scopely is not hosting an orb opening event this holidays. Sad, I know. I was one of those people waiting for an orb opening event. But where did this all start? So, Scopely released a blog this past Friday talking about the upcoming events for the rest of the year and some starting into the new year. And there's no mention or confirmation of an orb opening event that the community has been hoping for. Yes, there is a concept of an orb opening event, but it's tied to a milestone event where we're opening up event related orbs, but not the general kind of orbs like gold orbs, mega orbs, premium orbs that a lot of people have been hoarding because we've been anticipating an orb opening event, which doesn't seem like it's going to come. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance and significance of a concept of an orb opening event and the impact it has on the economy. I'm going to talk about my approach of how I'm going to open orbs and continue to hoard orbs. And then for the last part of this video, I have my special guest here, Blastoise. He's going to help me open up all my premium orbs, 62, and uh, we'll see what results we get. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So there's not going to be an orb opening event, unfortunately. And I'm a little bit surprised, but I'm not surprised that Scopely decided not to do one this year. So where's all the, where did all this start? So a couple years ago, Scopely did an orb opening event. We opened up lots of orbs, get some rewards, which are pretty good. And then the next year after that, around Christmas time, they did the same thing. They had an orb opening event, opened up random orbs. They changed the orbs up a little bit, and we got different rewards for it. And so this is the third year in a row where the community was anticipating coming out with another orb opening event. But the issue with orb opening events is that it creates this hoard mentality where people will likely want to hoard their orbs uh, because when the event comes around, then they'll have the necessary resources to immediately open up tons, hundreds, thousands of orbs and progress super crazy high and complete the milestone event really, really easily. So that's what players have been doing. Uh, the issue with that is that, you know, because players hoard all these orbs, it, it really makes it so that there's not much of a need to buy the offers in the game. You know, why would I buy these Red Star premium orb offers if I have a stash of them? Um, so so that's kind of like the what happens when there's this hoarding mentality amongst the players. Um, it is kind of necessary for, for Scopely to do um, an event where you spend and drain the resources from this economy because it just makes it so players will have, you know, they'll feel like they need to buy all these offers. Um, so the fact that Scopely did not do an orb opening event um, was surprising, but I see where they're coming from because they want to stop this prediction. They want to stop this trend of players hoarding. And ever since they released this news this past Friday that there's pretty much not going to be an orb opening event, people started opening up their orbs. And this is exactly what Scopely wants. And, uh, and it's good that they're kind of just getting rid of this expectation so they can kind of keep things very unpredictable. And when things are unpredictable, then they can, you know, take advantage of um, making offers that are appealing to people at different time points of the game. So that's um, what a spend event is or opening event does for the game and economy. Um, and then so my approach is that I'm going to open up some orbs, but not all. I'm going to open up orbs that have an immediate impact on my roster, um, but I'm not going to open up pretty much all the other orbs where I don't really need the content. So I'll show you really quick what orbs I'm working with. I have 62 premium orbs, 47 red star orbs. I have, I really haven't been using up a lot at all. I have 311 gold orbs. That's so much. I'm getting so many gold orbs. But the thing is, I don't even need it. I have 28 million gold. My bottleneck is not gold. It's uh, training materials, um, which doesn't seem to be the case for some people. I have some legacy orbs I've been holding on to, training orbs I've, I open. I've been saving all of the ability orbs. There's nothing really good there. I'm waiting for them to revamp the contents. And I have milestone orbs. Um, I'm assuming that Emma... Emma Frost will eventually be added there, but I still need Symbio Spider-Man shards. And then if you check out the Blitz orbs, I have 325, a ton. I have 153 of the Gear Catalyst orbs. Gonna go, I have 43 Raid orbs, 609 Blue Gear orbs, 339, 1,233 Orange Gear Raid orbs. Whew! I'm ready for DD4, Dark Dimension 4 whenever it comes out. And I have 105 Orange Elite orbs. I would like to open those up because I do need the alien spores, but I'm hoping that Scopely 
revamp some of these orbs. And, th and that is kind of the benefit of holding onto these orbs because we hope that they will increase the contents. Uh, and so, the, you know, for those who hoard it, we'll be able to take advantage of the better rewards uh, when they do revamp orb, revamp orbs. And then the last thing I'll show you all is my Ultimus orbs. I have 29. So I have a ton to work with. And then for the last part of what this video is going to talk about right now that we're going to get into is uh, Blastoise here is going to help me. We're going to open up all of my premium orbs, all 62. And, and then I'm not going to touch anything else. This is the only thing I really care about. Because and this is the perfect time to open up premium orbs. Scopely has taken Minerva out of the um, of the premium orb uh, from having the increased chance and put it in the war store. So now we have Quake and now we have Cold Obsidian, who I desperately need, and and though I would I would love to get a lot of shards for them. And, I, and there's actually more characters that are out now. I would love a lot more shards for them. So uh, so yeah, we'll see what we get. I'm gonna open them all up individually just for the hype. And we'll see what we can get. I'm hoping I can get some... I'm really hoping for X-23 because I'm really like 10 shards away from getting her from 7 star. But pretty much any character not a 7 star, I would love to have. So let's get into it. Blastoise is going to help me out. Ready to, ready to do this, Blastoise? Blastoise, Blast. He's ready. He's pumped. So let's get into it. I'm going to go kind of quickly because 15 uh, shards is a lot. Um... You know, there's no, like, seed theory or anything going on with this. Um, don't need this. I love Anti-Venom. Need more of him. And then see. Keep going, keep going. Oh, Stature. I'll take Stature. She's uh, going to be most likely a prerequisite for a legendary character coming. Um, legendary, new legendary, supposedly. Um, I need Iron Heart. She's having a Blitz coming out soon. That's why I'm stopping to farm her from the nodes. Oh, there we go. 25 Beast Shards. I'll take it. Uh, I recently pulled a Mega Orb, and I got 50 Beast Shards, so that was really good luck. Don't need him. I'm only going to really comment on the characters that I really um, I really actually need. But but yeah, Satchel's really good. Electro, perfect. I actually need it. Actually, awesome. So this is exactly what I was talking about. Like I really was waiting to op uh, for a reason to open up these Premium Orbs, because it's going to allow me to rank up characters that I've been sitting on for such a long time. Electro's one of them. It's in. Uh, it's gonna make my Sinister Six team so good, and uh, oh man, shame. Those twenty-five shards would have been gone good for a character I need. Um, I mean, the gosh, <laughs> wow, Beast, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna rank him up. We're actually gonna be getting an opportunity to get a five Red Star Beast in the upcoming uh, milestone event. Awesome, Andy Venom. I'm actually doing really, really well. I think having Blastoise here uh, for these orb opening videos is something I'm going to have to keep bringing him back on because he's helping me a lot. 25 Quake Shards. That's what I'm talking about. Man, even I mean, even if I'm not getting um, characters I need, which I am though, I feel like I'm getting a lot of um, blue drops, which are 25 shard drops, which is really helpful. Um, you can even get up to 50 shards if you're lucky to get a purple drop. So... I've only I'm only digging into about 20 orbs. I'm doing really really well. I'm gonna be able, I'm gonna be able to rank up some characters by the time I'm done with this. 15 quake shards. That's what I'm talking about. I will take her all day. Whoo! I mean I definitely could use a better quake though because I find that when I'm using Inhumans in war especially uh, the enemies tend to like targeting quake and she tends to die pretty easily. I think she's definitely the lowest star character on my Inhumans team. I think that's the case for most people. I think when people do the uh, the uh, legendary event for um, for uh, Ebony Maw, people were not using Quake as a seventh star. People are using Miss Marvel, so definitely need more shards of her. I haven't gotten any Call Obsidian though, so despite him having a higher shard drop, awesome ne Negasonic. I could definitely use more of her. Yeah. So I mean, like. You know, even though I'm opening up these premium orbs, and even if Scopely does decide to do an orb opening event in the future, I'm going to have so many other orbs I'm going to be have at my disposal that I'll be able to use. Scream, awesome, need more Scream. And, you know, I have so much gold orbs saved up, gear orbs, purple gear orbs. I think if I had to open up another type of orb besides premium orbs, I would probably want to open up purple gear orbs just because, you know, I can use the um, advanced basic catalysts. I, I constantly use those, and I'm actually quite low on tech gear. I've been, like, um, powering up Pimtech, 
and other characters um, just beyond gear tier 11 and 12 have definitely eaten up a lot of my tech gear. So, I mean, even though I'm farming those um, gear nodes, I could technically open up um, the, the, the purple gear orbs and that would help me get some more tech gear. Because now that we have Doom Chapter 3 out, like, our energy should be going towards um, getting up characters, um, getting the gear for the uh, orange gear. So there we go, our first Cole Obsidian drop. Mm, I don't think I'll be able to get enough to unlock him, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, we're going to have a Blitz for Cole Obsidian coming up in January. Woo! And that's a nice, I got Minerva. So Minerva can still drop in the premium orb, it's just not the highest rate. And now I'm actually 100 shards away from getting her a 7 star. Uh, my rule of thumb is, if I'm 100 shards away from a character being 7 star, and they're in a, a store where they're farmable, I will not um, further farm those characters, because I just kind of hope that a blitz will come out for that character, I'll score top 1%, and I'll get the 100 shards I need to, um, to get them max ranked up. Because, like, it's a horrible feeling if you keep, like, uh, spending resources, especially in the war store, the credits are so valuable for orange gear. If let's say like I I kept buying like up to 50 more shards for a character like Minerva, and they came out with a blitz for event for her, and I don't need you know, any more shards for her anymore, it's just kind of a waste of those 50 50 shards. So I have to play the patient game. That's kind of what I'm where I'm at with Mr. Sinister. Um, awesome, Call Obsidian. When it, that's where I am with Mr. Sinister because I've been sitting at him. Um, for 100 shards short of 7 star, but I'm trying so hard not to spend any war credits on him just because I'm waiting for his blitz and I'll be able to 7 star him really easily. So we are in the home stretch right now. I have about 13 more shards left and I'd say I'm quite happy uh, so far. I've definitely got a lot of shards for characters I need. I don't even know how long. Whoo, Domino, that's a really hard one to get because she's only in the blitz orb. But I've been waiting so long. I've been hoarding premium orbs for so long. So this is really going to provide a nice bump to my roster. Uh, when it comes to the spending gold on a daily basis, I really like opportunities to use up gold that doesn't require training materials because training materials are so scarce. And when the Emma Frost um, gold spend event comes back pretty soon, I want to make sure I have plenty of gold um, or training materials so that I can upgrade a lot of characters. So having all these characters I can rank up is going to help me spend gold without using train materials. And last five, let's see if putting Blastoise on this side of the camera will help me get some better odds. I haven't got anything really good in a while. Uh, I think the last Cold Obsidian one was the best one I got. I haven't got any 50 drops though. I'm surprised about that. Three last three orbs. Ugh, come on. Hydra Sniper. Hmm, maybe after this I should actually rank up some characters. I think that'd be kind of fun. All right, so last orb. Come on, Blastoise, it's all you. Blastoise, blast. I can't even see my, fing my finger. All right, Blastoise, blast. Come on. Ah, and nothing I need. So, okay, so let's go ahead and just check out what I got. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and there we go. So there we go. This out of 62 orbs, let's see what we got. We got 16 anti-venoms, 16 statures, one iron heart, we got 40 beasts, so that's really good. I'm really, uh, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't able to rank them up though, but that's pretty good. What else did I get? I need, I got 15 electro shards. I got um, 40 quake, which is impressive. Uh, definitely makes sense since she's the highest drop rate in this shard in this orb. And then I got what else? I got oh nothing. Then I got oh I actually I got one Proxima, which I need. I got 15 Negasonic. I got 15 Scream. And I got 31 Cold Obsidian, pretty good. 15 Minerva, so that puts me just 100 short of 7 star. And I think, oh, there we go. So I got 15 Domino. She's really hard to farm in the Blitz Orb. And so there we have it. So I'm quite happy with that. I'll be able to rank up a couple characters. Let's go ahead and just uh, rank up a couple of them and see how we do. Um, oh, actually, I think I have to scroll down to them. They don't automatically put the characters up anymore at the top if they're um, only if you haven't unlocked them. So I unlock them, but when it comes to ranking up, um, you actually have to scroll through. Okay, so I have ooh, I have two characters. Awesome. So we have Electro. So uh, awesome. So let's go ahead and upgrade her. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to upgrade her gear. Ugh. Um, okay. Okay, that sucks. But anyways, let's rank her up. Ugh. 
I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Such a waste of orange gear. I was happy with her at, at gear tier 12. Maybe, maybe not have to invest in her further. Awesome. Okay. So she got a nice bump to damage, health, and everything else. And then let's go put my sister six up quite high. And then let's go ahead and upgrade stature. She's the last one. So this time I'm not going to press equip all. I'm going to press rank up. Blastoise is in the way. And let's see. All right. Awesome. So, oh, awesome. So I was able to take advantage of the five red star I, I, I pulled on her. And, and that's a pretty nice jump. She is now at a pretty good damage. Um, she really needs a lot of armor and health because when I use her in Blitz, sometimes I don't even use a special because she's just so squishy. She dies so fast. So, so there you go, everyone. That's my results. I'm pretty happy with everything I got. Lots of Quake, lots of some Call Obsidian, and was able to rank up two characters. Um, so I think I did pretty good. Let me know in the comment section, are you hoarding your orbs? Are you going to spend them? I have a feeling a lot of people are going to spend their orbs now, and there's no shame in that just because, I mean, it's a resource management game. It's fun to see us progress our characters. Um, and, you know, if you do want to hoard, uh, just be, just uh, make sure that you're hoarding and 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 know that they may release uh, an orb opening event, but at the same time, you know you want to have fun with this game and just open up your contents of your orbs and see what you get. So that's it. It's been a great video. Hope you all have a safe and wonderful holidays coming up this week. And uh, as always, this is Pio Pico signing out. Blastoise signing out. We'll see you next time.